Well, Grandma said we start our peas on St. Patrick's Day, and we're actually filming the day before St. Patrick's Day, but somewhere in there will be good. And uh, for most of you, your soil is not going to be ready to work. I say it all the time. If it sticks to the shovel, it's too wet. Don't plant in it. This is beautiful, fresh compost, and that's all you'll have to do. Dump a little compost on top if you want to get your peas started. And this is a new pea from John Sheeper's Kitchen Seeds called Shiraz Purple Snow Pea. Now, I want to remind you that no one is paying me to plant these. If I find something that intrigues me, I'm going to use it. That's all there is to it, and I'll tell you what the name is. And so the trick to starting peas early is just soaking them overnight and they've swollen to three times their normal size. We've got our good compost down here and we're just going to kick these seeds in and cover them up and I got one more trick to get them to sprout. You can see I'm not doing these in rows, I'm just doing this as one big bed. Well, the seeds are in place, and I'm going to give them a little bit of extra help by covering them with this old 70s skylight. Now, I know you probably don't have an old 70s skylight, but we've been playing around with three mil thick drop cloth from the hardware store. You could do the same thing, and whenever the sun comes through here, it's just going to heat up that black compost. It's going to be good to go, and believe it or not, I'm fencing this in. I'm fencing in the fenced-in garden, and I'll show you why after this. Well, when I came out to visit the garden this morning, I looked at my kale and, oh, a lot of it's been nibbled on. I knew what it was. Rabbits love kale. and <laughs> My beets in here are gone, the tops anyway. So I stalked around the garden and spooked them out of the corner there. Hopefully I fixed the fence so that he can't get back in. This thing was the size of a groundhog. It was getting fat on my kale. And so I'm using this stuff called hot pepper wax. It's organic. It stops the rabbit from eating anything, but it's okay for us. And it doesn't taste like hot pepper for us. We just rinse it off. That should keep him off. Well, here's a follow-up on our seed starting project. Now, back then when we did this, as we are today, the soil is too wet to work. I put compost down. I started some seeds. And the red tatsoi that I was so excited about is sprouting. And I saw here... The corn mache or mash, however you say it, is sprouting too. That is exciting. We are underway. Another update for you. Two months ago, we stratified some milkweed seeds, meaning we just put it in the fridge. And we did it three different ways. One way, we had the seeds just in a plastic bag. The other way, we had the seeds in a moist paper towel in a plastic bag. And another way, we just had it right there in this container in some planting mix. The seeds have been planted. Now we have to see if we get germination. Over there, we did it. Our winter rose hellebores, they wintered over. We're going to plant those in the next couple weeks. All right, let's finish up. Meet me outside. All right, check these out. My friend Randy McManus, and if you go to everybodygardens.com, you can read a story about how he actually cooked a roast in a compost pile. That's my kind of guy. but. His factory redid their lights, and he thought of me, because what do you think I'm going to use these for? On top of beds. Oh, man, this is going to be great. Now, be sure to go to everybodygardens.com. We've got lots of good stuff there, good videos, got blog posts, and all sorts of other information, how to join my Seed of the Month Club. Until next week, it's just getting started, and I can't wait. We'll see you then.